were going to have a, a show, as you all know, uh, that would be a, a musical retrospective of the years that we came of age. The bookends of which were the assassination of President Kennedy. We all know, like as if it was a minute ago, exactly where we were, who we were with, and whose voice it was broke the news. And the other bookend was um, Jackson State and Kent State. There are folks here um, who were at Kent State, um, and before we move to this next uh, uh, segment, I'd like to also pay tribute. There are many veterans among us tonight, and I'd like all the veterans to stand so we can thank you for everything you've done for your country. Class of 68 is a noted and very popular Atlanta singer, songwriter, and guitarist. And he's going to perform several beloved 60s folk songs with a full sing-along participation from you, the audience. Now, you all have words on the table. Does everybody have their words? And without further ado, Bob Baker. All right. My name is Bob Baker, but that's okay. <laughs> Jim Hennick, where are you, Jim? Is he out there? Is that the men's room or did he split? I mean, I don't know how you could have a poem about Amherst High School not include my family store, Baker's Valley, where everybody went to sing. I, I will say this, that my mother one day, this is sort of the way she played it back to me, this is kind of how it went. The phone rang. And after the phone rang, she picks it up. Y'all with me here? She picks up the phone and says, Hello, Mr. Baker. This is Jay Schaefer from the high school. We, we've got all three of your sons here. Howard, Mike, and Bob. And I'm sending them all home. Y'all have a nice day. <laughs> And then I noticed that Mr. McAllister is here. Where, where is he? Is he still here on split? Is he over there eating chocolate ice cream or something? Did he go? Did he? Oh, well, I was going to say, you know, he, he, so where we are, I'm in the men's, the men's gym, right? The boys' gym. And I had a, a girl that I dated from, uh, where was that town? Clarence Lancaster. Lancaster. Pretty girl. It was when I didn't want to go there. <laughs> and there I am, you know, getting uh, coming out of the shower, you know, and, you know, I did my all together, and at that age, it wasn't that all together. <laughs> and Mr. McAllister, who's not here, damn it, he says to me, Baker, what the hell does she see in you? <laughs> and I said, I, I got nothing to say to that, you know, because in high school, we're all different, you know, you got some big boys who are mature. Something happened. I was kind of in the middle of that group. You know, I looked like, like John Cryer in Two and a Half Men. You know, it's kind of in that, that ballpark. Anyway, uh, Del Mar Goldfarb is supposed to be here tonight, and he's uh, make himself, making himself famous, I think, in Israel right now. I think he's got, got a big following going on there, too. So he called me, asked me to do this. Y'all hear that guitar? I'm gonna sing with me already. Uh, I do have a lonely face. I've done well for my age. I'm joking. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I don't know about you all, but when they call me and ask me about folk music, I said, "Well, you know, I do play the guitar, I do sing, I'm not a folk singer." So we'll kind of make make that happen. And the songs that I remember from those days, y'all remember the church on Washington Highway where we went that dances were? I, I played there more than anybody else did in about three or four different bands. You know, we played songs like At the Midnight Hour, you know, we played songs like Hold On and Comment and all those kinds of songs, which is not anything what we're doing tonight. I can still remember Jeannie Stefano and Terry Trasecco sing uh, Dancing to the Hump. How many of you remember 
go home. This is page one out of your book. Something happened here. So you talk about the Beatles. I mean, how can you do 60 stuff without the Beatles, right? So, all right. We're gonna do a Beatles song. Is this guitar loud enough, too quiet, too loud? Right, right. I mean, there's so many Beatles songs. I mean, we, I could sit up here literally for two hours and play Beatles songs for you. I mean, every night. But if I do, I gotta do it with John Lennon voice, you know. John Paul as well as myself, you know. Remember that one? Yeah. Uh, I can't believe the work plan is here. Holy crap. <laughs> I took this class. And I'm still here, but I don't know. It was an inspiration to me. You know, I used to sit there behind the director's chair. You know, all he needed was the, you know, the cigarette with the, you know, the gizmo. And he had the whole thing going on. I said, I want to be that guy.